Kid, what do you think about Ciudad de las Ideas? It's a wonderful club. There's such a variety of things going on. I'm looking forward to hearing talks and performances after mine. I was worried about my performance, so uh, I didn't, uh, wasn't able to go to the things this morning. But it's, it's fabulous. What has impressed to you? Because you have an impressive life. You have been. You are scientific. You are. You already uh, work with a movie. What impressed you about Ciudad de las Ideas? I think what impresses me actually is talking privately with some of the other speakers. Uh, this is something that I have an opportunity to do and other, most people don't, but uh, these are very interesting. With whom do you, do you, have, so, you have your opportunity so with, already? To... Well, well uh, with, with Moss, uh, who's from Iran, and uh, is really a very interesting guy. He's a comedian. The comedian. The comedian, yeah. And uh, I enjoyed that particularly. We rode in the car from the uh, airport together. And, uh, tell, me, really tell me something about you. What do you want to leave to people with your knowledge to the people here at the Ciudad de las Ideas? I think just an inspiration that science and technology have enormous power to solve the problems of the world and uh, that we need to learn about science and technology, appreciate them, appreciate what they can do, also appreciate the limitations, what they can't do. That's so important for the future of uh, the human race, for humanity. For example, what is a limitation of now of technology or, or, or of, of science? What do you think is well, now a limitation? One of the limitations is that climate change is uh, moving so rapidly that we're not going to be able to uh, prevent, our, to save ourselves from, uh, from very bad effects. But we can uh, slow it down. Uh, we can adjust to it, but we have to move rapidly. But it's, we're so so slow in moving with dealing with climate change that it's quite worrisome. You are a scientific, but you also work, like we told, in a movie. When you see a movie now, and you see, for example, Back to the Future, yeah. now movies go faster. They invent more things than in science. What do you think about it? It science has a way to go or has to follow what the movies has? Well, there are different kinds of movies. There's in, movies like Interstellar, which follow the science closely. Uh, there are movies like uh, the Harry Potter movies, uh, which are really science fantasy. They're more about magic. They're still sometimes called science fiction. There's a place for both types of movies. Uh, but I think particularly important are movies like uh, Interstellar, like 2001, like Contact, uh, where they stay close to the science and that give uh, the audience some real sense of uh, what uh, the possibilities are in the science. Thank you very much. And in science, what's next for science? What's next for science? There are going to be some wonderful discoveries in this uh, century. The technology of quantum information is going to revolutionize uh, computing. It's going to re revolutionize cryptography. The uh, detection of gravitational waves from colliding black holes and later from the birth of the universe will show us an entirely new side of the universe. Biological sciences are becoming very powerful. We are moving into an era where uh, technology, much of technology, is biological. We didn't dream it would be that way 30 years ago. Thank you very much. We hope we can see it next time in Ciudad de las Ideas, what this technology has advanced, and you can tell us some other and interesting things. Well, I look forward to that. Thank you. Thank you.